Hey everyone, this is Brad over here at Trail Racks, and in this video, we're gonna be going over the four-door Ford Bronco Tremor Rack installation. This video is gonna cover the provided hardware, the required tools, the Tremor assembly, the Tremor install, and this video will also cover the Bronco Pack Racks add-on. There's a lot to unpack in this video, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting with the provided hardware, you'll receive four inner clamps, four outer clamps, one wind deflector with or without the light bar cutout, two front mounting brackets, two long cross members, eight aluminum extrusions. You'll also receive 32 quarter 20 by three quarter inch hex drive bolts, eight quarter 20 by one inch hex drive bolts, 14 quarter 20 by half inch hex drive bolts, 54 quarter inch black oxide washers, 14 T-slot nuts, eight quarter 20 nylon nuts, and four M6 by one millimeter nuts. If you chose the Bronco Pack Racks add-on, you'll receive three bags, the eight set, the washer bag, and the universal bag. The eight bag will have eight quarter 20 by three quarter inch black oxide hex drive bolts, eight quarter inch black oxide washers, and eight quarter inch nylon nuts. The washer bag will have eight quarter inch stainless steel washers and the universal bag will have 16 quarter 20 by 5 8 inch stainless steel hex head bolts and 16 quarter inch stainless steel washers. You'll also receive two 29 inch half inch wide foam strips. You'll also receive two pairs of arms, four in total, two mounting plates, and two lower mounting brackets, both labeled with their designated sides, driver and passenger. Let's take a second to go over what the arrows mean on the inner and outer brackets. Single arrows mean the forward facing inner and outer clamps. So these will be your frontmost inner and outer clamps. If it's a double arrow, these are the rear facing inner and outer clamps. So they'll be the rearmost inner and outer clamps. Now a double arrow cannot be paired with a single arrow. A single arrow cannot be paired with a double arrow. With that out of the way, let's go over how to attach the foam strips. As far as placement for the foam strips on the outer and inner clamps, they will be placed on the inner lip with the arrow. So you'll remove the adhesive covering, slide it into that lip, pressing firmly in place, and then you'll do the same for the inner clamp with the arrow. Remove the adhesive covering, press into place, and you're ready to go. The outer clamp will use the four inch long foam strips, and the inner clamp will use the two and a half inch long foam strips. To attach the weather stripping to the wind deflector, you'll take your weather stripping, press it firmly into the gap. You should feel positive feedback of the weather stripping sliding into place. For those who received the Bronco Pack Racks add-on, you'll attach the half inch wide foam strip along this groove right here. For the logo plates, you'll receive three logo plates in total with six 540 half inch hex drive bolts and six 540 nylon nuts. As far as the locations go for the logo plates, you'll put one on the wind deflector and one on each side rail. The tools required to install the logo plates will include an adjustable wrench as well as a two millimeter Allen key. To attach the logo plates, You'll place the logo plate on the inside of the rack, slide through two M40 by half inch hex drive bolts, and then tighten it down with two M40 nylon nuts on the opposite side. The tools required for this install will include a ratchet, a 532nd inch Allen key or socket, a 10 millimeter wrench and socket, and a 7 16 inch wrench and socket. We recommend these to be ratcheting wrenches. This will make the install much easier. We will also provide blue Loctite for this install. 
To mount the Packwax bottom bracket, start by removing the hardtop from the Bronco. Locate the factory fender bolts and remove them using a 10mm socket or wrench. Before attaching the bottom bracket, clean the area where it will be mounted. Then, using the factory hardware, as well as adding a washer under the bottom bounding bracket, you'll tighten these bolts to snug. To assemble the tremor rack, we're going to first mount on the windshield mounting brackets to the front aluminum extrusion. To do that, you will use the four carriage bolts and four nylon nuts provided in your kit. First, you're going to slide on two carriage bolts for each windshield mounting bracket. Next, you're going to take your windshield mounting bracket and slide it into the holes. Then, you'll take your nylon nuts and hand thread them onto the carriage bolts. You're gonna leave these loose at this time. When mounting the windshield mounting brackets to the aluminum extrusion, make sure that these arrows are facing away from each other. This will ensure the correct fitment of the tremor rack to your Bronco. Once this is completed, add this extrusion to the front position of the rack. We recommend assembling the rack upside down for clear view of the bolt holes. You will use two three quarter inch hex drive bolts and two black oxide washers with a tiny bit of Loctite to mount each aluminum extrusion. Only hand tighten these bolts and lead them loose. This will make install much easier. You'll only need to install three aluminum extrusions at this time. Attach the frontmost extrusion with the front mounting brackets, one in the middle and one at the very end. With the tremor rack partially assembled, we need to line up the front mounting brackets before we attach the wind deflector. With the help of a second pair of hands, place the tremor rack on top of your Bronco. Make sure to remove the factory roof rack front mounting brackets before you install. Next, you'll place the tremor rack front brackets in the threaded studs. Using a measuring tape, find the middle for the rack and get the same measurement on each side. We found that two inches is roughly the sweet spot. Once the mounts are evenly placed on each side, tighten down the front mounting brackets in place. To attach the wind deflector, first add the T-slot nuts with a half inch hex drive bolt and black oxide washer. Add one to each slot, there will be 10 in total. Leave them loose then, slide the T-slots into the extrusion. If you chose the light bar cutout option, this is a good time to add the T-slot inserts so you can mount your light bar after the install. Now you'll attach the front extrusion, now with the front mounting brackets and the wind deflector, back to the front of the rack. With the front extrusion reinstalled, place the rack back onto the Bronco and using either the factory bolts or the provided nylon nuts to mount the front mounting brackets into place. Then use a 532nd inch Allen key or socket to tighten down the wind deflector. To mount the rear clamps, start by placing the outer clamp in place, push through two inch long hex drive bolts with two black oxide washers through the outer clamp, then the tremor rack, then the inner clamp. Once all the way through, place a nylon nut on each bolt on the inside of the rack. Do this for the front clamps as well. Use a 532nd inch Allen key or socket and a 7 16 inch box wrench to tighten down the clamps. Do this to all clamps to secure the rack. Double check and make sure that the rearmost inner and outer clamp arrows are facing towards the rear of the Bronco. 
and double check and make sure that the frontmost inner and outer clamp arrows are facing towards the front of the Bronco. Make sure this is correct. This is crucial for the correct fitment of the rack to the Bronco. Attach the remaining aluminum extrusions onto the rack and go ahead and tighten them all down. To assemble the pack racks, attach two arms to the mounting plate using four quarter 20 bolts and four quarter inch washers. Line up the bolts to the middle bolt holes. Now that the pack racks is assembled, let's get to mounting it. To mount the pack racks, slide the bottom of the rack on the inner lip of the lower mounting bracket. Next, push through two three quarter inch hex drive bolts with two black oxide washers through the top of the Bronco pack racks arms. Then thread on two nylon nuts on the inside of the rack. This is a similar process to the trimmer clamps. Once the hardware on the top is hand tightened, head down to the bottom mounting bracket and hand tighten four quarter 20 bolts with four quarter inch washers to the bottom of the arms. Next, use a 5 32nd inch Allen key and a 7 16 inch wrench to tighten down the top bolts. And then use a 7 16 inch socket or wrench to tighten down the bottom bolts. And there you have it. Your tremor rack is now installed on your four door Ford Bronco. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments or you can email us at info If you'd like to pick up one of your own, we'll leave a link to one in the description or you can head on over to our website and we'll leave a link to that in the description as well. If this video helped you install your tremor rack, well go ahead and hit that like button. If you enjoy watching what we do here at Trail Racks, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm Brad from Trail Racks and I'll see you all in the next one.